If you are planning to incubate eggs at home, you'll need an incubator. Today I'll be showing you how we use our how we set up our Nurture Right 360. There's a link to Amazon in the comments and you can also purchase these at Tractor Supply. Here is the incubator taken apart because I washed it down in a 10% bleach solution and rinsed it before I put it together and test it today. So when you're setting it up, the, the first piece is this gray piece and then in the nurture right, it goes in first, followed by the egg turner. And you've got to make sure this lines up correctly. Don't mind Liberty here. She's just interested. Finally, the top piece goes on. You never want to run your incubator without any water in it. And I recommend testing out your incubator before you put any eggs in it with an external thermometer and hygrometer. So I've got this um, indoor outdoor one that I'm going to place on the inside here. Add some water and connect my power supply and let it come up to temperature. And just double check to make sure everything's operating correctly. So in our model, you add the water here. Add some water. I've already put my thermometer and hygrometer there in the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and collect, connect my power supply. See power up. I'm gonna let her come up to temperature. All right, so I've been letting the incubator come up to temperature for about 10, 15 minutes. As you can see, the temperature is 99.5 and the humidity is 59%. So when you are incubating eggs for the first 17 days, you want the temperature between 99 and 102 and the humidity to be between 50 and 55. So mine's a little bit high. I'd want that to come down a little bit before I put the eggs in. And for days 18 through 21, which is the lockdown period when the days are, the eggs are coming up to hatching time, the temperature stays the same, but you will increase the humidity to 70%. You do that by adding more water. You also want to increase the ventilation, which on our model, there's this window here. You can adjust how much airflow. So I'm actually going to leave that open a little bit to bring the humidity down. So you'll want to bring this up to temperature and double check against my external um, thermo thermometer and hygrometer, which is showing 98 degrees and 48% humidity. So um, might want to double check. I might be okay there on my humidity regardless. So just some things to keep in mind when you are incubating eggs. Another feature of this model of the Nurture Right incubator is that it has an automatic egg turner. It turns the eggs so that the embryos don't get stuck inside the shell. And um, one way you can test that on this model is to press down on the plus and minus buttons right here. And it will turn the egg turner. I should note you, sh you need to make sure that the egg turner power cord is plugged in to make sure that it will test. Um, you'll want to make sure that's plugged in up here first. It says egg turner. And then on days 18 through 21 of your incubation period, you'll want to unplug that so it doesn't turn the eggs. You don't want to turn them and the, during your lockdown period because that is when um, the chicks are getting ready inside of the egg to be on the right side up and getting in position to start hatching. So just want to, just want to test that and make sure that feature is working properly before we fill our incubator full of eggs. So... You can see, I'll do that again. This is a camera view. You can see the white um, piece in there that the eggs sit in is turning. Now, I am not going to be putting any eggs in here to incubate right now. So I'm going to take this apart. But when you are ready to incubate, you'll want to put everything together. Bring your, put your water in and bring your incubator up to temperature. So it's all set to go and at the right temperature and humidity before you put the eggs in.